about the, um, birthday. I was thinking about um, how it's the birthday, it's independence, and I was thinking about how far we come as Botswana, as a people. And you know, my dad used to tell me how your ancestors, they follow you and they talk to you and they advise you and they, you know, they protect you. So I was thinking about like, if our ancestors were to talk to us now, what would they say? So then I wrote this. It's called Bones. Shh. <laughs> You're so big now. Oceans for eyes, I see you seeing the world. I feel you feel the world in your fingertips as you claw your way day by day through jungles of concrete with diamonds on your feet. I see you fight tooth and nail for big checks with your name in the mail. I see you demand your rights as women and men and children and them. I see you face adversity and counter it with humility. I see you feed the poor and show them they're not poor, but teach them to want more, more for their souls, more so they grow, more so they know, oh, you're so big now. Broken heart with wings like dots, I watched you fall in love. I watched you prance to rhythms on foreign sands and dance to your dizzy in foreign lands. I watched you admire distant places and different races, drunk with inferiority, you accepted their superiority. I watched you trade our castles for stones and your flesh for bones. I watched you fall so deep, so deep in love. But mostly, I watched you fall, in, fall out of love with the souls of those whose blood flows through the very marrow of your bones. I watched you grow your trees and cut your roots. I watched you feed your mind and nourish your soul, then turn your back on those that came before. I watched you make your footprint in the world and forget your way back home. Long walk to freedom, but the only thing you're free from is the wisdom to see that from yourself is who you steal from. With no one to tell our stories, the only narrative is one that dims our culture's glory. Tongues heavy with the weight of praise you have for tongues other than your mother's. I can barely hear you when you whisper to me and your forefathers, but I am the soul whose blood flows through the very marrow of your bones. I am the soul whose blood flows through the very marrow of your bones. But you're big now, you're so glowing. I wonder if you hear me, can you feel me? Because then, why do you love only them and not me? Thank you.